It affected hundreds of residents and changed the island forever. As we approach the one-year anniversary of the Kilauea eruption, how have residents recovered, if at all, and what lies ahead? Joining us this morning is Big Island Senator Russell Ruderman. Senator, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Good morning. Now, you were instrumental in getting a bill to get $60 million in relief. What's the latest update? Well, the $60 million will go to the county for an assortment of purposes. The, one of the most urgent things that we, our community, hopes for is that we go to help repair the roads that are closed. Because in addition to the homes that were lost, there's a lot of homes that are now isolated by lava. And they simply can't get to their homes or farms. So repairing the roads is one of our top priorities. And I also think some of that funds will go towards our rental assistance for people who lost their homes. And, uh, you know, we also lost our beach access, our, our boat ramp, and so some other infrastructure needs. What else are you hearing from your constituents? What else do they need? The number one thing we hear by far is we need the county to repair the county roads that have been a block by lava. Um, that's the number one thing to help people get back to normal. And we also need some support for economic activity. You know, we lost a lot of farms, we lost a lot of businesses, we lost almost all of our um, visitor industry in that area. And also for some folks who still own property out there, it would be helpful if we could allow perhaps a building of movable modular structures so that they can rebuild in these areas. Now, looking back to a year ago, is there a story or image that stands out to you? You know, I would say to me, there's one school that was lost. It's a ch charter school called Kua Okala. Uh, I was attending its uh, graduation last year uh, when the principal, Susie Osborne, who started, helped start that school and has a whole lot of heart for that community, during the graduation ceremony, her home was taken by lava. You know, she came there knowing it was imminent. And literally during the ceremony, her home was lost. And that was a real heartbreaking moment. About half of those kids were in the shelter at some point. On this one-year anniversary, any last thoughts that you want to share with us? Well, you know, uh, it's, it's hard to explain to folks outside the community what the effect of the uh, eruption was. Because it wasn't just physical effects, but entire communities were lost. And some folks have found ways to rebuild, but... In general, people are scattered to the winds. And so it's not just the loss of a physical structure or a road or a home, but it's the loss of a whole community. And it's very traumatic in ways that it's hard to explain to people outside the district. And, Senator, since we have you here, we just talked about how the man at Halimau Moha Crater, he fell into the crater, hurt himself, and was taken to the hospital in serious condition. Any thoughts on that and any words to people that are visiting Hawaii Volcanoes National Park? Well, people need to be careful around the volcano. There's lots of potential dangers, but the main message I'd rather get out is that it is safe to visit there, follow the rules, and use, and use proper caution, and we hope visitors come back. So I would, I would hate to discourage anybody from coming to visit. Hawaii Island Senator Russell Ruderman, thank you so much for joining us thank this you. morning.